Y entonces compasan el cajón. Ok. Now, there doesn't necessarily need to be cajón en tientos, but it's a nice, it's a nice uh, tool to have and it's a nice way to keep a, a good pulse. Now, um, cajón is something we need to be very careful with when we're, especially when we're talking about the slower uh, forms like tientos, like seguiría, like soleá. You want to make sure that you're not trampling on uh, cante and on guitar because a lot of times when it starts out, they really want to set it. Uh, it's like incantation. They want to. They want to really have some freedom in the beginning. So we don't want to impose too much rhythm on them uh, as as musicians. So we need to pay very close attention to what it is they're telling us musically with what they do. And this is something you'll develop as you go along. But for right now, let's just learn how to hold basic compas. Okay. So, there's a few different things you can do on cajón. This is, this is going to be tricky because you want to make sure you don't end up sounding like a rock beat. By a rock beat, I mean something like this. Okay? That's, that's something you can play in tientos, but you have to play it a little bit differently so it doesn't sound like a Led Zeppelin track. You really want to make sure that you're heavier on these bass accents and not as much on the snare. When you start hitting that snare, it starts sounding more like rock influenced. And we want to make sure that we produce uh, flamenco sounds to the best of our ability. So, you could choose to just hold it with, without any snare at all if you wanted to just here. If I'm counting that, that's one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four. Simple enough. If you want to, you can add some sounds in there, but you want to make sure this the bass sound is the more dominant sound. So we want to be here. So you see for that snare, I'm, I'm just basically moving my finger like this just to keep a little tiny sound in there. If you want to go ahead and do a full on sound, you can, but uh, make sure the proportions are correct. So I'd be here. Okay. Now, once in a while, you can get a little bit funky and start to sound a little bit more like rock. But uh, this would be something you would want to use as a variation more than a, a, a way of keeping steady from boss. So, you could do something like this. So we're doing a little now, if I played it like a rock style, it would sound a lot heavier on the snare. But again, we're, we're going to go heavier on the bass accent and leave the snare a little bit more subtle. Okay. Now, let's bridge, let's, let's work on a bridge between compases so we don't have that constant stop every time we're on four. So now we're going to take this pattern and bridge it. So we're going to play like here. A little da da boom before one. So that is right, left, one. So if I'm counting it down, I'm going one, two, three, four, and one. And a one. One. Like so. Okay. Now, um, let's say I was doing that other more uh, rockish sounding kind of temp uh, phrasing. I would be here. 
can still throw that bridge in there. So if I'm here, Okay, so the, what I just did there at the end, that's a common place where they throw in a little cut, okay? So I'm going to give you this exercise and I want you to work on this particular uh, pattern, this particular set of compases. So we're going to do traditional, bridge it one time, and then leave it. Rigid, then roll. Okay? So, if I'm counting that out, I'm going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Or if you want to count in eights, one, time to go through that make sure you work this pattern I'm gonna do it slowly there'll be the uh, close-up video so you can see the articulations a little bit better and follow along and those last ones are all base hits one two three okay so practice on that and we'll have some accompaniment videos coming up.